re requesting consent for it to record. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Wherever you are, welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode um, 393. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. And with us tonight, we have Tim Kapper. Uh, Tim is uh, um, CEO of OnlineOwnership.com. He's based in Corby, about 100 miles north of London in the UK. Um, he's also a winner of the best, the best um, local SEO firm in the in in the in Middle Consult England. <laughs> in Middle Earth, yeah. Well done, that Tim. That would have been pretty cool if they put that on the award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, very impressive, mate. And also we have Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Uh, he uh, is also a, a Google product expert on the, the AdSense community. Tim is a Google product expert in the Google My Business uh, community. Just have three questions this week. Uh, this one is um, uh, the first one is uh, titled uh, "Hello Everyone." Is it worth worthwhile investing in backlinks? Uh, it, it's a question from Sandra Pym. And the answer for Sandra is no. <laughs> What you should be investing in, taking if you were thinking of investing in, in links, what you should be investing in is actually supporting one, okay, so one, supporting content for your site. So your site has, you know, your, obviously your top line categories or products, and then invest in supporting content uh, for that. And if you create good enough engaging, um, useful answers you use as query, um, those, that kind of content will over time generate their own links as they get shared, as people reference them. Um, uh, you know, content can be anything from, from written to video to imagery. You know, there's, 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 there's quite a few different options in it. But no, you shouldn't ever think about purchasing a, a link. Thank you, Tim. I agree with you totally. Um, all right, uh, let's um, move on to the next. This one is from JL Favario, moving domain to another registrar. Um, are there any pros and cons for uh, search engine optimization? Besides parent name servers, uh, live at GoDaddy. Um, he said, with their A record pointing to Squarespace. I'm curious uh, if there is any benefit to moving all name servers to Squarespace so that there is no attachment to GoDaddy. Thanks. I honestly don't see any like kind of benefit in it i don't think so but domains and hosting is not sort of my my uh forte it's much more your thing isn't it jim uh, it might it is mine i mean i'm i think anybody who wants to move away from um GoDaddy uh, d deserves to be encouraged. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but yeah. yet, it's, uh, it, I mean, years ago, do you remember Masataki? Um, <coughs> uh, <coughs> sorry about the cough. Uh, since this COVID ID thing, I, you know. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, um oh what was i going to say um uh, that doesn't matter let's pass and we'll move <laughs> no, no, no. well you were talking about GoDaddy. 
Yeah, well, okay. Years and years ago, do you remember um, that uh, GoDaddy actually blocked Google Bot from, from uh, scrolling sites? That would be about 2011, 2012. It was a common practice. Uh, um, I was uh, looking, uh, uh, contributing to the uh, uh, webmaster, um, uh, Google webmaster group. And um, <clears throat> we eventually tracked it down to, to <coughs> sorry, <coughs> to, uh, <coughs> dear me, excuse me. Yes, we, we eventually tracked it down to um, uh, go, go Daddy, blocking, actively blocking um, Googlebot. Anyway. Yeah. Sorry about that. <coughs> Anybody I else? Think, I think it's a general point is that if you have things spread over different places, there are many potential points of failure. So in that sense, if you could remove that risk by um, concentrating in one place, then that might make sense. Though that means it's, you know, you're going to be vulnerable to a single point of failure. But, you know, if you have things spread over and you have to rely on everything working all together and you know, something fails and everything falls down, oh, then, you know, the risk is probably much less if you have everything concentrated in one place in that respect. And I think sort of name servers DNS off, is often overlooked. It is an important part of the whole structure of things. Yet people seem to think, well, you know, it's a, it doesn't really matter. Um, sometimes I think it, you know, if you have a very big site, it may make sense to have proper DNS set up in place. Yep. Okay, let's uh, move on to um, number three on our run list. It's from Ian Powers. He wants to know, if, is it okay uh, not to use WordPress? Uh, <coughs> Ian said, hey, everyone. Is it okay to build my website on something other than WordPress? The web, the web designer I work with a lot uh, prefers Webflow. So I'm thinking of building my next site um, with that. Yeah, you know, um, <clears throat> that's perfectly fine. Um, as long as you know the designer follows sort of best practice you know in terms of not necessarily they don't have to be an seo but in terms of follows best practice um currently about um to make sure that the site is easily crawlable um by search engines and understandable by search engines yeah you build it in whatever you want really Absolutely. I think the only thing that some people are alluding to is the fact that because WordPress is so popular, if you have to switch um, people, you know, if you have to um, ask someone else to design or take over or look into things, then you probably have more people who are available than other platforms. But in terms of actually creating a website and maintaining it, so long as you know you're confident with it, then it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Taki. Okay, it's um, that's the three questions that we had for tonight. Um, and I'll close off the recording now, um, but not before I uh, before I do, I'll thank um, people like Michael Stricker and uh, Michael Martinez, uh, um, the, the the work and the contribution that, that uh, 
um, they and uh, or many others uh, do on the WCA Questions Facebook group make it a, a useful resource and uh, uh, also of course not, not the least of which would be uh, Tim Kappa's contribution and Masataki Wasa's. Uh, it's great, I'm grateful for their, their um, work. Now I'll just turn this off um, if I can, doesn't want to.